And we are away. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the BGL and DocuSign webinar. Uh, my name is Warren, and I'll be taking you through the session today alongside Sean from DocuSign. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Warren. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Now, uh, before I get into, or before we get into the actual content, I just want to go through the quick agenda for today. So what we're going to do is obviously introduce, and Sean is going to introduce the DocuSign solution. So uh, we'll have that. Then what we're going to do is a very light overview of what CAS 360 is as a product for those that haven't had any exposure to it. Um, and then we're going to go through a live demonstration of CAS 360 and the DocuSign integration. So we're going to show that live. Then what we have is a very special guest uh, is Anne from the field group. So Anne is a CAS360 and DocuSign client, and we're going to be able to ask Anne some questions uh, relating to, I suppose, their experience and the experience that the field group have had with uh, CAS360 and DocuSign and the integration. And of course, at the end of that, we will have a Q&A session where we will be able to take your questions. Um, if you do have any questions throughout the session, though, please utilize the Q&A um, section of Zoom. Um, we have Andy from the CAS team here as well, who will be looking to answer any questions that you have that you are posting in the Q&A. And then obviously we will address any of the questions as we go. Um, the session is recorded, so you will be able to watch the replay later on. Um, you will be able to, uh, we will send you an email um, with the recording. Um, and obviously those attendees that weren't able to make it will also uh, receive the recording as well. So what I'll do now is I'll hand over to you, Sean, and uh, let you introduce uh, DocuSign to, uh, to the attendees today. Fantastic. Thank you, Warren. Thanks, everyone, again, for joining today's session. So uh, as Warren mentioned, so my name is Sean Smith. I'm one of the account executives here at DocuSign based in Sydney. Uh, so as, as we kick off, I know as business leaders, you have an almost unending list of priorities. We all do. Uh, but from the hundreds of conversations that I've had this year alone with our customers, particularly at this point in time, they seem to revolve around how, how do we drive more revenue, get more efficient with our spending, uh, reduce the amount of risk that our business is exposed to. And most, if not all, are also wanting to improve their customer and employee experience and make their business more sustainable. We hear this across the board. Now, the way we help our customers do this is by delivering a modern and efficient system of agreement. So we're going to go through and we'll, we'll jump in and take a, a little bit more time to talk about what that means and also how DocuSign solutions support these business objectives. Now, driven off the back of the pandemic, companies everywhere of all shapes and all sizes have made significant investments in technology over the years to digitally transform their business. Now, for a lot of companies, this started with modernizing their systems of record to integrate their front office and back office with ERP systems such as BGL, uh, or sorry, from, from companies such as BGL. Uh, then the rise of the cloud came along and companies began investing in systems of engagement to improve how they engage with their customers and their employees. As business leaders, we're all looking for the next big opportunity to drive more revenue you know, reduce our spend and minimize our risk, minimize risk in our business. And we believe your organization's system of agreement is that opportunity. And what I mean by this is the systems and technologies your business uses to manage agreements and your agreement workflows, which of course begs the questions, <laughs> why are these agreements so important? Now, the reason they're important is your business, every business fundamentally runs on agreements. Anytime you need to do something important, whether that's hiring somebody new, buying something like software, selling something, even signing your own corporate IT policy, there's usually some kind of agreement involved in that. There are hundreds, if not thousands of agreements like this across both your front and back office, and they generally touch your customers, employees, and partners alike. The problem is that while these systems we just talked about have dramatically improved the way you manage those processes, the way you manage your agreements has probably remained largely untouched. The agreements themselves may be digital. Some of them may even get signed electronically, but most companies have taken 
a fairly backward step in terms of looking at this comprehensively and recognizing that they're actually now part of a broader system of agreement. Generally, every one of these agreements needs to be prepared in some manner. They need to be reviewed, negotiated. Often this is all happening within fairly tight timelines. They need to be signed and then they need to be managed going forward. Today, your employees are collaborating to get all of this done, but in most cases, they're doing this predominantly manually. So where DocuSign comes in is we help our customers to better manage this process by delivering a modern, efficient system of agreement, all while delivering a better experience for your customers and your employees. So how do we do that? There are two key areas we think you, you need to look at if you want that frictionless digital agreement process. And these two areas are your agreement workflows and also the agreement data that underlines it. Like I mentioned before, there are a wide range of activities involved with managing any agreement, ranging from preparing it, reviewing it, negotiating if, that, if that's necessary, to signing and then managing it on an ongoing basis. For example, if you're sending out a sales contract, what do we need to do? Okay, your salesperson might email a deal desk. They might manually rekey data into a CRM from a Word doc or into a Word doc. Once they get that, that done, they send it out externally. If it needs to be negotiated, your legal team has to track different versions. They need to figure out which language and terms are acceptable. They need to make sure it goes through the right rev reviews for approval. Once that's all done, someone needs to PDF it. They need to send it off to the customer for signature. If you're lucky, you're already using some form of e-signature. But a lot of times we find that companies still have agreements that are getting printed, signed on paper, faxed, scanned. Bear with me. Some even still are couriering it to their clients, okay, to, to, get, to get that agreement completed. Uh, and that's just one example. So other agreements may have other important steps that are even more manual. For example, cap capturing information from the customer, verifying their ID, ensuring the document is witnessed, sometimes by one or even multiple parties. Now, this is the first area a system of agreement helps you to improve. The next area it helps with is, as I mentioned before, your agreement data. Now, we understand most companies have already digitized many of their agreements in some capacity. Uh, Warren, if we can go to the, the next slide. Uh, but typically, the, that, goes, that doesn't go beyond simply turning them into a PDF document. And the problem with PDFs is that they're really just a picture of that paper agreement. They're a static document, which means rich contact, contract data rather, and metadata, so the data that underpins that document, like terms, obligations, the SLAs, um, even sim simple things like products, pricing information, contract start dates and end dates, they're all trapped inside and unusable unless you get another human being involved. Okay. In an ideal world, you'd be able to unlock that data and use it. So for example, you should be able to ask specific questions about your contracts, like whether a contract you just signed has any high-risk terms that you need to be aware of. Or you may want to know if there are any SLAs you or your vendors need to uphold. You should also be able to zoom out from a wider lens and answer questions about your contracts in aggregate. Okay, like what are the top 10 contract risks your business faces? Or are any terms there that are preventing deals from closing quickly that you could change without introducing additional risk to the business? You should also be able to integrate that data to automate and streamline important steps in your core processes. For example, automating things like account provisioning, or notifying your team when they need to take a certain action. All of this is either impossible or impractical if that data is trapped inside that static document that is a, essentially, a, again, a picture of a PDF. Now we need to make, we need a way to capture that critical agreement data so that when you unlock this information, you can make better decisions and eliminate unnecessary work, again, leading to more revenue, lower costs and reduced risks in the business. So it's all well and, good, well and good to say, how do we get there? So DocuSign is redefining how the world comes together and agrees. It's, it's all we do, it's what we, we live and breathe. We believe we're the, really the only company that can help organizations like most of yours to do both of these things. Streamline and automate agreement workflows while unlocking and unleashing the power of that agreement data. 
It's the key to delivering an end-to-end -end agreement process that is smarter, easier, and trusted, leading to better business results. Now, let's take a look at what a better version of what I've just described looks like. Now, here again, we're taking a look at that sales contracting process, but with focus on some agreement-specific activities that happen both before and after the contract gets signed. So what does that better, better version look like? Like I said, you've obviously got to prepare that contract somehow. Well, what if instead of manually generating that agreement, all you had to do was click a button in your CRM and all the right terms, as well as product pricing information, were automatically populated? Or better yet, what if it happened in a fully automated way without the need to ever even click that button? What if verifying a customer's ID was as simple as them snapping a picture from their phone instead of faxing and scanning it and sending it to you? What if negotiations were centrally tracked, terms and conditions were centralized, it was all standardized, deviations were automatically flagged? What if approvals were conditionally routed to the, to the appropriate people for approval? And after the agreement gets signed, you could automate important downstream actions like account provisioning, billing information, invoicing. You obviously want to be able to find that agreement, so it should go into a single secure repository that's built specifically for these agreements. You should have the data in those agreements available to you to drive additional automation or to answer business critical questions using something like artificial intelligence. Finally, all of this should be integrated and connected to the other platforms you use to run your business. Okay, now we're, we're going to look at two ways to transform your, transform your agreements with DocuSign, starting with what we're very well known for and probably what you automatically think when you think of DocuSign, which is e-signature. We can click one more worm. So you're able to send, track, and sign agreements with the world's number one electronic signature solution, DocuSign. With this, you can eliminate paper and manual steps in signature processes. What used to take days can be completed in hours or even minutes. I actually had an agreement signed in about 45 seconds yesterday. <laughs> it was a new record for me. Um, across the DocuSign e-signature customer base, more than 82% of all agreements are completed in less than a day, 50% in less than 15 minutes. I'd love you to have a think about what you could unlock for yourself as, as a business leader and your team by saving that kind of time. With our e-sign platform, you can also deliver secure and mobile experiences through web and highly rated mobile apps. So on both the app, Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, the DocuSign e-signature mobile app has by far the most reviews in the e-signature category with an average of nearly five out of five star from thousands of reviews. And one of the best parts of all of this is being able to eliminate errors and duplicate work by connecting e-signature with the systems and tools you already use, such as BGL's suite of products. We have out-of-the-box integrations with all the platforms you see uh, on the screen here and hundreds more. In addition, our APIs let you further customize the, the signing experience, monitor signing events as they happen, and integrate e-signature into your own web apps and bespoke backend systems. Uh, it, very importantly in today's world, we help ease the compliance burden on your organization with solutions that are designed to help meet objectives of industry-specific regulations too. So I, I will stop there. <laughs> I could go on for days. Uh, hopefully that's been a, a helpful overview of, of DocuSign um, and how we're able to help in this, in this piece. Um, passing back over to Warren, who's going to give us a dive, a deep dive into the BGL DocuSign integration. Back over to you, Warren. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sean. And uh, thank you for that uh, fantastic overview. Um, what I'm going to cover off today is the CAS 360 integration with DocuSign. And I'm going to go through that and show you a live demonstration of that. But I do want to make it very clear that the integration that um, BGL has with DocuSign extends beyond CAS 360. Um, DocuSign is uh, integrated into Simple Fund 360 and Simple Invest 360 in an almost identical way to CAS 360. So what I'm going to show you will focus on CAS 360, and we just don't have time to go through every single product. But um, keep in mind that the principles are exactly the same, and the integration can be used across all applications. Um, and you can use the one account, obviously, to integrate across all the applications as well. So just wanted to make that, that point very clear off the top. 
Um, for those that aren't aware what CAS 360 is, so CAS 360 is your, is your complete ASIC corporate compliance solution. Um, it automates all ASIC workflows, okay? It allows you to prepare all of the documents that you are required to prepare to meet your company and trust compliance. There's a whole trust module in there that's free as well, um, which is very timely because I know a lot of you are doing trust distributions at the moment. Um, inside CAS 360, we've got a whole heap of automation around smart alerts, keeping your, um, your records up to date, your annual review alerts getting received, your document deadline alerts when a document deadline is due, a debt alert when a company has a debt. We even have a dedicated director ID alert with a director ID workflow, but I do know that all of your directors have already got their ID, so you might not need to use that one too much only joking. Uh, and we also have full automated reminders around all of these particular corporate compliance processes. And um, your automatic reminders are very important when it comes to your digital signing with DocuSign, because not only are you able to prepare the initial document pack and deliver it through CAS 360 with DocuSign integrated, you're also able to have automatic follow-up reminders to those clients to hurry up and get those documents back. So, Let's have a quick look at CAS 360. So I am just going to start and show you the quick overview of one screen. And this is obviously the company screen where you will see all of your companies when you come in. Uh, and here are your alerts. So if an annual review has been received, straight away you get an alert. The system connects to ASIC, downloads your annual review. So if you're using something like the ASIC portal, this will connect to, the, to ASIC for you. So you won't need to do any of that. Um, and you can process the annual review in a few seconds with DocuSign integrated in CAS 360, get that annual review completed and delivered to your client. When there is a document deadline, the system will automatically track that there is a document deadline. This particular company here has three lodgements that are late. Okay, so you can very easily send a reminder. All of your ASIC debt is tracked as well. So all of your ASIC invoices come directly into CAS 360. All of your debt balances are there and you can manage your debts really simply and easily because it's all automated. And then we also have our director ID reminders where we can go in and check if our directors have completed their director ID obligations. So that's a very quick overview of CAS 360. There's a whole lot more. And if you want to find out more about CAS 360, please feel free to reach out. What I'm going to cover off now is a live demonstration of the CAS 360 and DocuSign integration. Now, as I mentioned before, we do have this integration with Simple Fund and Simple Invest 360. Now, I know some of you will actually be subscribers to both DocuSign and BGL products already today. So there is one key step that you need to do is you need to authenticate and connect the two applications together. Now, you're able to do that by clicking on the app switcher and going through the integrations button here. So clicking through here will take you through to our integrations page where there is a dedicated digital signing button and you can go through and authenticate um, your DocuSign integration with um, BGL. Once you have authenticated that integration, all of the features I'm about to show you become unlocked and you can utilize them. So all that you need is to have obviously an account with DocuSign and BGL, go through the integrations button. Again, the process is identical if you're using Simple Fund or Simple Invest. Click on the integrations, connect the two accounts together, and you are ready to start preparing documents. So I'm going to go into my Bean Roasters company, and I'm just going to go to the officer screen here. And what I'm going to do is just uh, prepare a very standard officer appointment. So I click on options edit here, and I've got my director here. So this is Joe who's being appointed. Turn my print toggle on and click on prepare forms. So my workflow without digital signing is exactly the same as the workflow with digital signing. So there's no change to the actual process. I here have my document pack that is ready to be um, prepared and delivered to the client. And what you'll notice is this big green box at the top that says flag documents. And we have three documents that are going to be signed using DocuSign. And I can see here which documents are going to be signed. So I've got my form 484, my director's meeting minute, and my consent to act. So the, the legally required documents uh, are flagged for signature. Now, inside the document options, I can check who is going to sign those documents. So I can see that Joe, for the, for the case of the example, Joe is going to sign all, the, or sign all the documents, but I can see there that Joe is going to sign the documents. Uh, same as my director's resolution, I can, we'll have Joe sign that one. And obviously the consent to act has to be signed by Joe. 
So all of those documents are prepared and I can obviously change all of the options that I have in CAS 360 to customize and modify those documents further. We also have the document review process where you're able to flag that the documents go to a partner or a manager for review before they are sent to the customer. And we also have this electronic signing options. And this is one of the features that we unlock. So I click on electronic signing options. And what I have here is a new screen showing me, obviously the signing provider is going to be DocuSign. Um, I'm going to email the signers a completed signed document pack. So once the document pack has been signed by the clients, um, they're going to receive a copy as well as we're going to receive a copy. So they've got their full signed pack ready to go. And I've just got Joe's details here. Obviously, one of the most important parts of digital signing is making sure that we have the individual details for each signer. And what I mean by that is we need an email address to be able to send the email to that particular client. So we do need to make sure that we've got the email address. And if it wasn't correct, I can go in and edit it. OK, but everything's looking good here. I can see that it's going to uh, Joe's correct email address for this example. Um, we also can put on uh, to factor if we wanted to uh, have a SMS code sent to Joe as well. And then all I need to do is click on send. What happens here is we're validating the digital signing pack and we're making sure that everything is correct. And then we have our email template, which is ready to be sent out. Um, so what we have here is um, who the email is going to be sent to. Now, in this case, it's only going to Joe. But in the event that the document pack is going to multiple recipients, what happens is each recipient receives their own unique email. OK, so they don't receive the same email with five people in the two field. Each signer receives their own email. OK, now you can CC and BCC partners and managers and whoever else you need to CC and BCC. But the CC and BCC contacts will not be able to sign the document. OK, only the person that the document is addressed to will be able to sign the document. And that's why it's got that little padlock up in the left corner. Now, what we have is obviously the email body, which can be completely customized. Now, if you are using CAS 360 today, obviously email delivery is included in the product. But if you wanted to use digital signing, you must use the CAS 360 email delivery. OK, it is a requirement as part of the integration. But what I'm able to do now is click on send and send that email off to the client. So what I've done now is I've prepared the pack and the pack is ready with all the DocuSign markups automatically done. You'll notice that I haven't marked up the documents at all. I haven't had to export the document to PDF and put the sign here stickers and things like that. I haven't had to do any of that. That is because the integration takes care of all of that. If you connect your DocuSign to CAS 360, you will never have to do that manual markup again for a company or a trust document. CAS 360's document templates have pre been marked up. They are already programmed with all of the signing uh, lines programmed with everything that is needed. So there is no manual markup of those documents. Okay, so the documents have now been sent to the client for signing. So your work is effectively done and now it's over to your client. So let's have a look at what your client will see. So your client will receive their email, okay? So here is their email with all of the details. Now this is an email that you have full control over in the email template section of CAS 360. So you can add your colors, your logos, everything like that. This here is the baseline default email template. So I can see my lodgement due date. I can see all the details about the particular document, including the company, and a nice big green button that you can't possibly miss called review documents. So I click on this, and this now opens up the signing page. Now I will say that we've added support for on this signing through email, uh, through sorry, through email, through mobile phone, iPad, as well as computers. So you are able to have signing across multiple devices. So here is a. a the first button, which basically says, Dear Joe, here are the documents, please review and sign them. Click on review documents. And what this now does is this launches the signing inside DocuSign. So again, this is your client's experience. One of the key differences between using digital signing and not using digital signing is the experience that your client gets. So it's all much, it's all a great feature that you are able to get that document out of your office quicker and easier because all the marking up is done and it's all delivered 
but your client's experience is so much better as well because they don't have to print off the document, you know, sign it and scan it and send it back to you. They get this document pack where they can go through the documents, click on the sign here sticker, okay, and put in the signing information. So very quickly, all those documents are signed. And we can click on finish. And what we've done here is we've completed the signing of that particular document pack. So because Joe has finished, gets a message that says great job, and Joe is able to download the signed copy here, but also we've pre-selected that setting for Joe to receive an email of that signed document as well. So Joe's going to receive that email um, because the document has now been completed, which is fantastic. Now, if I go back to CAS 360, once the document has been signed, one of the real benefits of the integration is that all of this happens in real time. So when that document has been signed, you are notified in CAS 360 and you're notified in real time. Okay, my notification has just come through just like magic. And it says, Joe, the documents have been signed at 11.27 a.m. on the 7th of June. So those documents have now been signed. They're done. So what I'm able to do is obviously see that those documents are signed, head over to my document screen. I can see that the documents have been signed. Click on options, attachments. And here is my document pack with the DocuSign signed copy automatically filed correctly in CAS 360. Now, if I'm using a, a, a document management integration like FYI or Suite Files or Virtual Cabinet, you can have that document automatically replicated across to those applications as well. And this is what we mean by unlocking all of those apps and connecting all of those apps together because you're able to have all of this automation take care of that work that we were previously doing manually. And I've even got my DocuSign certificate completed in here as well. Now with all of these documents, um, when we are waiting for the response can often be the biggest issue. Um, in CAS 360, some of you will be aware that we released automatic document reminders last year. And what I've got here is my document that has been prepared and delivered to the client with automatic reminders ready to go. So if I go to my messages and my pending outbox here, I can see that Bean Roasters has five follow-ups automatically implemented before the due date. So I can see here that not only have I sent that email out to Bean Roasters, but Bean Roasters have another five follow-ups coming and waiting for them should they not sign the document back. Now, these automatic reminders will turn off the moment the document has been signed because once the document has been signed, the system knows, it marks the document as complete and those automatic reminders go off. So the system will automatically create the reminders. The system will automatically remove the reminders when the document has been signed. So complete connected integration from end to end. What I'm going to do now is introduce uh, Anne, from, Anne Wright from the field group um, and to talk a little bit about um, their story uh, and how the field group went about integrating their um, CAS360 with DocuSign. Are you there, Anne? Oh, I, uh, I can't hear you at the moment, Anne. Oops. How's that? Yeah, we got you now. We got you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, not a problem. Good morning, Anne, and thank you very much for taking the time uh, to join us this morning. Um, so what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about your experience with CAS360 and DocuSign. And um, if I take you back to the start, I know you were one of the early adopters to CAS360. <laughs> Um, and I, I wanted you to just talk a little bit about your decision or your firm's decision about moving to CAS360 in general. Sure. Well, uh, I guess we were trying to transition to being a paperless office um, and to have all our software in the cloud, um, mainly to cre create more efficiency, um, but also to enable people to work at home or in other locations. Um, so, yeah, it was a logical step as part of that transition. 
Fantastic. And you were using CAS Desktop previously? Yes, we were using CAS Desktop, um, which I was very happy with. So there was some nervousness about changing, you know, wondering if it will have the same level of functionality, but uh, certainly no regrets. It was a good change. Fantastic to hear. Now, obviously, CAS Desktop, CAS 360, one of the main functions is producing company documents and and that's it. That's it's the reason for it existing is to produce these documents and get them out to the clients. So, what challenges were you facing with, I suppose, getting these documents in the hands of clients and, and getting clients to sign those documents? Sure. Yeah. Well, I guess we all face the challenge of sending things out and uh, clients not returning them. Um, and then you have challenges with uh, needing things done urgently. And you've got to rely on mail or even send things to different locations because you've got multiple signatories or people scanning things back and it's a really poor quality. Um, so using CAS 360 and DocuSigns helped to overcome all of those things. Fantastic. And what was the main reason for deciding to implement DocuSign? You've gone down the path of moving from CAS Desktop to CAS 360. You, you probably started emailing documents out and then you decided to look at digital signatures. Can you talk to me a little bit about the, yeah, the main catalyst for deciding to implement uh, digital signing and going with DocuSign? Sure. Well, as I said, we were trying to be paperless and to create new efficiencies. Uh, we tried using client portals where a client logs in to access the documents, um, but we found people were having trouble remembering passwords and then they'd still have to download the documents to print and scan and send back. Um, so digital signatures just made that whole process so much easier both for us and for the client. Yeah, fantastic. And I suppose one of the things that can sometimes get overlooked in the workflow that I went through is that there are no passwords for customers. Um, they are given a, a unique secure link that is only yes. sent to them. And uh, it does mean that they don't have to remember their 604th <laughs> password, um, which is which is good. Um, talking about your experience with DocuSign, what are some of the benefits that you have found by using the, the DocuSign product and the DocuSign integration with CAS360? Sure. Well, obviously, there's a big um, time and cost saving when you're not having to print things and send them in the post. Um, also, as I've mentioned, you can get things signed and returned really quickly if you've got urgent lodgements. Um, it's a benefit for clients because they don't need to print things off and get them back to us if they're on holidays or they're overseas. They can still sign their documents. Um, and even... I guess you don't have to worry about losing documents because they're there stored um, securely in the software. And I guess the other thing too is um, we can collect data from the client. So if we need a tax file number or credit card details, we can embed those fields into what we're sending them. And um, there's an option to put little asterisks. So when we get the document back, it's not visible to everyone, but we can log in and access that securely. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, how, I mean, you have touched on a little bit, but um, how has CAS360 changed the engagement, or CAS360 and DocuSign, sorry, changed the engagement that you have with clients? And do you have a, a success story or a, a story where it sort of exceeded your expectation around, you know, getting a document back quickly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess overall, it's it's just a lot more efficient, as I said, for both us and for the client, and we can be a lot more proactive like all the time we have clients saying thank you so much for getting things done so quickly for me um, and I guess it enables us to present a professional and, and a modern uh, way of doing things to the client so I can't think of any specific example but yeah just it it's a regular occurrence that a client rings and they need something done like today and it's easy to do that when we're using DocuSign. Clients always want it done today, Anne. But, <laughs> um, and the last question I have for you, Anne, is uh, one piece of advice that you're looking for firms who may be a bit earlier in their digital transformation um, journey around, I suppose, moving to paperless and moving to digital signing. Is there one bit of advice that you would uh, that you'd love to give them? Yeah, well, I guess it is a big change and it can be a bit daunting. So um, I think it's important to to plan it and to think about it and the challenges that you might face. Um, you don't have to do it all at once, do it step by step. 
Um, we did have a transition period where we were keeping paper alongside the electronic record so that people could gain confidence that this is actually working. Um, but at the end of the day, I'd say just just do it. You won't regret it. It's it's definitely a big step forward with lots of benefits. Fantastic. Um, thank you so much, uh, Anne. I hope that um, some of the answers that you've been able to give to the questions have, have been able to help you know, so many others that are looking to start the journey. Um, so thank you very much for your, uh, for your welcome. joining us today and uh, for your time. So thank you. Not a problem. And as it does have there, if you would like to implement Simple Fund 360, CAS 360, uh, Simple Invest 360, or just activate the integration, please contact me. Uh, uh, my email address is there and we will get you started. Um, and I'll thank you for your time. Sean, thank you for your time. Um, and everyone else, thank you so much for your time today. I hope the session has been valuable for you all. Um, but that's it. Bye for now and uh, chat to you all soon. Thanks, for, thanks a lot. Bye.